We're in Ikea, and I don't have my, uh, my regular camera. It's kind of shaky. The internal stabilization is not exactly what it should be. But you know what? We're going to work with it. Now, I would do a bell song review. The only issue with that is the fact that I can't do a bell song review because I'm in public. I am carrying a 42, one of my favorite, you know, EDCs. <clears throat> but today, today we're reviewing the Shirogorov, Shirogorov, however you say it, neon light EDC. Roll the footage. Now why a Shirogorov? Or whatever, I'm gonna call him a Shiro because I don't really know what to call it. But why a Shiro? Like why? Like what's up with the hype? Well, much like Ikea, where people will find any way to spend any amount of money, a Shiro is the same way, except that it's adult males and the knives are ridiculously expensive. Are they so expensive? Because of the tech, man. Because of the tech. And because of the ridiculously good actions. I keep looking over here. The action on it is impeccable. What do I mean by action? I mean this. It's like a, a, a biscuit Thanksgiving dinner. It's just butter, just pure butter. And it's because it's on an MRBS system. If you're gonna cop a Shirogorov or a Shira, whatever you wanna call it, only cop MRBS, multi-row bearing system. Now it comes with steel, stainless steel races, which are the components that hold the bearings in place. But the real benefit is that you can put ceramic bearings in those races. So the coefficient of friction is extremely low and you get a very, very smooth action. It's part of the reason why they're so expensive, that and the fact that most of them are custom knives. Now, one of the Shiro brothers died and that's really unfortunate. Thankfully, his other brother kept up the family tradition of making the most lit flippers in the world and there's like basically three divisions of Shiro knives. There's the full customs, the mid techs, and then the productions. I'm pretty sure mine's a production because the price I paid for it is nowhere near for what customs go on USN and blade forms and other high-end knife forms, you know, for, for flippers, not really battle songs. If you look online, there's like the Hati, there's the 111, and then of course there's the F95T. Now the F95T, from the research I've done at least, is kind of their bread and butter. It's what kind of put them on the map. It is a very celebrated knife. People love it. For me, it's too big. <clears throat> and I did a lot of research looking into it, and it's just a little too big, because I'm a 531 Pardue guy. If you guys have the Benjamin 531, I still have to do a review on that. It's one of my all-time favorite knives, the EDC. This neon light is almost the exact same dimensions, but it has bearings and it's lit as fuck because it has M390 steel. But Knife Caviar, you haven't really talked about blade seals before. What makes this different? Dog, what makes this different is that this is an EDC knife, meaning that I'm gonna have to use it for the reason why people carry pocket knives. To open up packages with other knives in them. With the advent of the dog bite, a lot of people have been getting on the whole Elm Max hype train. Just to let you guys know, Elmick's been around since about 2009, and while it is a good steel, M390 is way fucking better. Now, I'm not a steel whore. I don't claim to care about steels. I really don't care about steel at all. The only time I really do care is when I'm choosing a knife to EDC, and this knife took me weeks to figure out that I really wanted to. It just so happened that I got a good deal and everything fell into place. Oh, and the fact that this knife is extremely rare and discontinued. I don't know if it comes with our drawers. Yes, it does. Does that Let's go find it. <laughs> he is so weird. Yeah, I need a birdcage light. Really like the fact of the minimal design. I'm a minimalist. I try to be minimal, but oh, every time, man, it is so satisfying. Now it is a little, it's not as smooth as I would like it to be. Again, it's stainless steel races, and this is basically a brand new knife, so I still have to break it in. And if you look right here, yeah, focus maybe. You can see that my thumb is kind of like, my, my thumbnail is kind of cracked, and that's because I, I pushed the lock, the lock bar on, because it is, it is frame lock. And so the D10, it's a little rough on it, 
but you know, you just, you just push in like that, get it past the detent, and then you can kind of shake it and get it down. But you know, I'm in public right now, so not, not too, not too hype off of it. Anyways, it's extremely minimal. So with Shiro knives, you can see right here, there's the main pivot and then there's a back pivot. That's it. And those can be taken apart with a dime. It's crazy. And then the, the entire knife opens and you can clean it. So this thing's chocked full of pocket lint right now. And <clears throat> I mean, the action could be cleaner, but I mean, it's, it's a perfect EDC knife. Like it fits ooh, right there and I can still carry my vape. While I help my dad measure this bed, just know that I know that there's been a lack of content on my channel. I had to take down two videos. You know who you are. I apologize for filming where I shouldn't have, but I gotta clear up a few disclaimers really quick. First and foremost, uh, contrary to popular belief, bell songs are perfectly legal within a household, and I don't break the law normally. Second, and probably more importantly, I'm in an Ikea right now, I'm not in a gang, nor do I supply knives to gangs. Even if I could supply knives to gangs, I don't think I'd have enough supply to get the gangs the amount of knives that they would need. And even if I could, butterfly knives are very hard to fight with and they're not designed for that at all. So you should probably look into the history of bell songs before making judgments like that. But I guess technically if I was in a gang, I would say I wasn't in a gang. But it's kind of tight that I have enough clout in your eyes to, for you to assume that I am in a gang. Cause I like to think that I'm pretty hard, but at the end of the day, you guys know I'm kind of a, yeah. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. And that is I'm gonna try to cut this vlog completely on my iPhone and upload it completely free from using my computer at all because I'm not even at my house, I'm in Ikea. Anyways, with the Shiro, it is a great overall EDC knife. I literally bought it to fidget with and to use as an EDC knife because I can't EDC a bell song everywhere. I know that the, the content on this channel has kind of slowed down in frequency and I'm working on that, but I'm going through a lot of stuff in my personal life right now and trying to figure everything out. So I do apologize to you guys. But every time you guys send me stuff on Instagram and through Facebook and through YouTube and everything like that, just know that it helps me, it supports me, and it pushes me to keep this channel up. Because if you go and watch my first vlog, I talk about how I'm doing this just as a hobby and for fun. But what I'm seeing more and more now is that I'm helping you guys get through your own stuff and you guys are helping me get through my own stuff. And I really do appreciate that that does come from the heart. So keep being beautiful, guys. I do love you, but... Please rest me in the comments.